Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you tvOS 15, which is Apple's latest and greatest uh, operating system for the Apple TV. Now, uh, Apple just announced this on WWDC, and now we finally have the tvOS Beta 1 hands-on. Now, if you want to install this on your Apple TV, just simply click the very first link down in the description down below, and then you'll be able to get tvOS 15 on your Apple TV. Now to first show that this Apple TV is on tvOS 15, we simply can go into settings, and then we can go into system, and then go to software updates. And then if you take a look in the left, it will say tvOS 15, and then you have the build of 19J5268R. So first off, Apple didn't talk much about tvOS in its WWDC keynote, but here we have all the features. So just like all of Apple's other operating systems, tvOS will get a major update this fall. Uh, now, once again, Apple didn't spend much time on it at WWDC, but there is a lot of features that it uncovered in tvOS 15. So to start off, so with tvOS 15, you can sign in with Face ID or Touch ID. So there's a new framework for the Apple TV apps that will let you sign in using your Face ID or Touch ID on your iPhone if you have a stored password. Soon, uh, typing in passwords will be obscure now and there won't be any sign-in code. So your Apple TV may be a thing of the past and just Face ID and Touch ID will be the new trend. Now, SharePlay is one of the big features for tvOS 15. Uh, so SharePlay lets you watch content from uh, the TV app while you're on a FaceTime call uh, on your iPhone, iPad, or Mac. So if you have an Apple TV, you can watch the show up on the big screen while you continue your FaceTime call on your iPhone. Uh, and then the video uh, or music with Apple Music will remain synced with between everyone on FaceTime. Uh, so SharePlay is a huge feature of iOS 15 along with tvOS 15. So you can just stream from your phone to your your Apple TV instead of just on your phone on that small screen. Uh, so that's a really good integration. TVOS will have some new smart suggestions. So there's a shared with you row in the TV app, just like all the other Apple apps to showcase uh, shows and movies shared with uh, you in messages. Uh, so since you can have multiple accounts on a single Apple TV, there's also for all of you section with suggestions that will match the interest for multiple accounts as well. Uh, so that is also another good feature. Now you can also have special integration with the HomePod mini and Apple TV. So here we have the HomePod mini. So now you can connect your HomePod mini to your Apple TV and tvOS 15. Uh, so that will be uh, starting this fall. Uh, you'll be able to connect your HomePod mini as a default audio output uh, device for your Apple TV the same way uh, that you can use the big uh, HomePod, uh, so the original HomePod, which is now discontinued. Uh, so you can already use AirPods with your Apple TV, but Apple will extend spatial audio uh, to the platform as well, so you can get a sort of surround sound experience when you watch the big screen. So this works with your uh, AirPods Max and your AirPods Pro, and you'll also be able to issue Siri commands to your Apple TV from your HomePod, giving you a hands-free a way to start playing content. Now tvOS 15 also does have home and camera support so you can already view your uh, HomeKit connected cameras on your Apple TV but now you can uh, see nearby controls for other HomeKit devices on screen uh, so you can turn off exterior lights for example and much more. Now in terms of the overall compatibility and release date uh, you can expect tvOS 15 to be released this fall along with Apple's other major operating systems uh, likely in September. Uh, so this is compatible with your Apple TV HD uh, and also the first and second generation Apple TV 4K uh, and it's very simple to install it. Now, a special feature that I noticed on the first beta is that if we press and hold on this button, you will now see that we have the control panel. Uh, so with the control panel, uh, we can start playing uh, certain songs and everything like that. So with the control panel, we can start playing uh, certain songs and there's also share play right here. So if we go into playing a song, So now a song is playing. So now we can go back into the control center and now we can see I have a song playing. So what we can actually do is connect our uh, AirPods uh, to our Apple TV now. So this is my AirPods Pro. And currently it says share play not active. So when Apple TV detects a FaceTime call on a nearby device, it will appear in your control center. And we can change the output from TV speakers. Now in order to connect the AirPods Pro, we simply have to go into settings. 
Bluetooth. And we simply just have to tap and hold on the button on the back of the AirPods. And once we tap and hold on the button on the back of the AirPods and have the AirPods in, it will be flashing. And then there's my AirPods Pro. And now looking at the control center, you can see the AirPods are connected now. And we have the option for noise cancellation, transparency, and off. And we also can have a spatial audio uh, that we can connect uh, depending on what content we're watching or listening to. Uh, so that's a really great new feature. Now we can also take a look at what it's streaming to. And we just simply can press it. And then we can see we have our AirPods right here. And we also have the potential for share play in the later versions of tvOS. So overall, it's a solid update and it brings a host of new features. Now I also do get dynamic switching for your AirPods Pro. So let's say uh, you're using your AirPods on your iPhone and then you uh, come into close proximity with your Apple TV, it can automatically switch to your Apple TV. Or if you pick up your iPad, uh, it will switch to your iPad. It's just a very smart switching depending on your proximity. Uh, just the HomeKit cameras work very well. We can now pair two HomePod minis at the same time uh, to our Apple TV and get a, a really good audio experience. And with the spatial audio it will be a very movie theater like so there's some great potential in tvOS 15, I must say. Now, the overall UI still looks the same as tvOS 14 and tvOS 13, uh, pretty much. Uh, and most of the functionality on the outside of it is the same, but there is some big features coming in the fall, uh, and it'll make the Apple TV a worthwhile purchase. So hopefully you enjoyed this video on the tvOS 15. If you did, be sure to smash the like button down below. Also, be sure to check out other videos on my channel. Be sure to uh, subscribe for more great content and follow me on social media at Apple Critics. And thanks for watching.